Today, our family is happy to read a story to you. The story is adapted from The Bee Who Spoke by Elle McQuish. Daddy and Mummy are the narrators. I am Ben, the boy who got lost in the forest. I am the bee which spoke to Ben. We hope you will enjoy the story. Ben saw clouds tumbling into one another. What he didn't notice was the roots of a great oak tree in his path. There was a BAM! bam followed by a Whoa! Then an OW! My jeans are covered in dust. My knee is bruised. Oh my goodness, I am lost. Ben didn't know the country and the country didn't know him. Hello? Hello? But there was no one to be seen. Then he noticed a little bee passing towards him. It inspected his clothes on curiously. Hey, what's that? Ben, what a nice name. Bees can't talk. Of course you can. You just have to know how to listen. I think I am lost. Why? There's a map all around you. But Ben could only see trees. The bee buzzed closer. Do you like adventures? I live for them. Ben, I would like to take you on a little journey. Let's go! Ben, meet Anika. Anika, meet Ben. It looks like a tiny sunflower. They are cousins. Take the petals, press them between your hands, Rub the oil on your knee. The egg on your knee will fade. Wow, that's nature. Come, I have more friends I would like you to meet. The bee knew everyone and everyone knew the bee. What a busy place. In nature, we all have a job to do. What's yours? Nature gave us the most important job of all. If there were no bees, there would be no oranges for your orange juice. No strawberries for your jam. Yes, that would be a very dull breakfast. We visit the plants and the bushes and the trees and carry their precious pollen from one flower to another. That's how nature makes new plants and flowers. Do you get any treats? We get nectar to make honey. And Ben saw for the first time a beehive abuzz with busy activity. Everything seems just so. Ah, you have a saying for that. A place and a purpose for everything. That's the beauty of nature. I can see Grandpa's house. In fact, I can see everything. I must write it down in my journal. The afternoon became an adventure. Ben was scribbling when all of a sudden they heard music. Ben got out his binoculars to investigate. My goodness! There was a whole troop of insects and animals. The birds broke into full song. I know this one. Join in, Ben, if you can. And nature's song began. You and me and, and the flowers and the trees and, and the birds in the bushes and the seas on the breeze. We are one and we are all. all. All oh, and nothing much at all. Thanks to the bee, we live in harmony. I now know the country and the country knows me. Thank you to the bees who give us all these delicious food. Apples, apricots, avocados, blackberries, pumpkins, raspberries, strawberries, tomatoes, vanilla, Watermelons. We have learned that bees are so important in nature. 85% of plants exist because of bees. One third of all food that we eat depends on pollinators. Bees are declining in numbers because of harmful pesticides, habitat loss and climate change. We need to switch to organic pesticides. We could also plant bee gardens to create a safe habitat where they can build homes. Let's save the bees today!